Hi, my name is Hannah Biggs and I'm an International Grand Prix dressage rider. Welcome to my home. I'm going to show you how I train and work with my horses to prepare for competition at all levels. Today I just want to talk to you a little bit about the importance of warm-up. I always let my horses walk like this for a good 10 minutes on a long rein, just letting their muscles warm up, letting their joints become lubricated and just letting them mentally prepare for the work ahead. But I don't like to just get on and have really short reins and obviously safety is paramount if your horse is a little bit fresh then you can't let them go completely but I find the more you let them relax like this the more rela relaxation becomes routine. Okay, now I'll pick him up and do some trot. So after my 10 minutes of walking on a long rein, I'll just pick him up, tell him something's coming, and he's ready to go already. Okay, then let's start trotting. So I'll just make sure he's trotting forwards into a connection before I let him stretch. I don't want to just immediately shove his head down on the floor and him be on the forehand. So just maybe one round up like this, make sure he's in a contact nice and connected and then I'll slowly let the rein slip and let him start to stretch his neck down. And as I let him stretch I'm just thinking about the balance and making sure he doesn't just dive on the forehand Boy, and then he's nice and soft to each side of the draw and the pole. So I'll trot like this for a good five minutes on both reins, doing a few simple turns, circles, maybe a few loops and serpentines, just nice easy big movements so that it doesn't turn too tight too quickly, just giving those muscles as much time as possible to warm up. And as I'm trotting around and making sure my position is correct, sure my shoulders are back and down, sure my hands are up in front of me, legs down and relaxed, and my stomach muscles are switched on and my core is engaged. And if I feel him a little bit tight, then I'll just work the flexion that way a little bit. Make sure that I can see his inside iron nostril as I ask him to flex and just soften a little bit in the jaw. I don't want his head and neck to come too much to the inside. Stay relatively straight in the head and neck. Just little flexions to help soften that jaw. Good boy. And this way. And at the same time, I'm making sure that he's in front of my leg. So every time I use my leg, I want to make sure there's a reaction. Good boy. Okay. And I'll have a little canter. So the same in the canter. Flexions a little bit. Make sure he's nice and supple. Good boy. Make sure he's into the contact. And then allow him to stretch a little bit. So I just let the reins slip out of my fingers a little bit and then close my hands again. So I've still got a nice contact. Good boy. I'm still thinking about my position as I warm up. Good boy.
So I'll let him canter for a few minutes on each rein like this. And now I'll start to also introduce a little bit of transitions within the pace. So just steady the canter a little bit. Good oh boy. And then push it on a little bit. Just small transitions, just start to get him firing up and thinking about the work ahead. Oh boy, get him really listening to me. Good. Again, a little bit collected. Good boy. Good. And then forwards. Make sure he's listening to me. Come on. There, he didn't react enough, so I gave him a little bit of a corrective kick. Good boy. And it prays for reacting. Good boy. And I like to make sure I don't just ride on the track all the time, but I can ride three quarter lines and the horse is nice and straight. He's not drifting back to the track. Good boy, you can canter in a straight line. And steady. Good boy. And exactly the same on this rein. Making sure the jaw is soft to both sides, that he feels equal in both reins. And he feels straight from his hind legs through his shoulders. Boy, and then letting him stretch a little bit. And I do this routine at home every day, and I do exactly the same at a competition so that he knows what's coming up. His muscles have got exactly the same time to prepare. For the competition, if he's a little bit tense at the show, I might do a little bit more. Then you get to know your horse and know, understand what he needs. But horses like routine, if they know what they've got to do and what's expected of them, then they're a little bit more relaxed anyway. So a few transitions within the pace on this rein. A little bit collected. Boy, not too much, just a touch, and then forwards. Making sure it's reacting to my leg. Oh boy. And then back a little bit. And forwards. Good boy, that was better. Well done. Good. And from now I feel like I could go on and do some work, introduce a little bit of lateral work or whatever we're going to do for the day, but he'd be ready for the work ahead. So that would be my basic warm up for a daily basis and at a competition. And now I would go on and do some work ready for whatever I've got in plan for, for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. They've been brought to you by Jackson's Equestrian. I use and endorse Jackson products because quite simply, they are the best and offer quality that lasts.